parking lot, Miami Fitness, man. Burbank, California. 6 a.m. right now. Early. It's cold too, man. Not many people here, and why? Because it's early and it's cold. Two recipes people do not like to deal with. The thing is, when you look back on your life, you don't remember these days. You don't remember how cold it was. You don't remember the uh, little bit of sleep you might have missed, like getting out of bed early. What you do remember is coming up second place, third place, not first place. See, I like these conditions. Because if you can perform in these conditions, then anything's easy. Especially when you're competition sleeping, you're out here working, it makes your desire solidify even more. Because success doesn't know these things about cold or early or tired. It just knows if you showed up or not. The difference between someone successful and someone that's not successful is not their ability. Because this world is filled with people who's never achieved their true ability. The differential is their desire. And when you get up this early, this cold, when no one else is here, and you know no one else is here, they're all holding their blanket for warmth. We're holding our dreams for warmth, what could be, man. We're putting the desire in right now to make sure they come to fruition. When you do that, when everyone else is sleeping, it gives you an invincible edge, man. Strength, guys, is not found in the victory. No, it's found in the hardships and what you overcome to get the victory and the failures and you get back up, guys. That's where it's found it. Coming in here this early in the morning when it's cold outside and everything else, when everyone else is sleeping, it's part of that hardship, walking the mud of life to get to the higher grounds. What we did here, man, you should feel a nice positive confidence of who you are come in and search, search certain adverse situations like this, man. It just it re reignites a spark of desire where you want to go. We're, we're tired, it's early, and it's cold. We didn't want to be here. Well, we are here. We're getting stronger for it because our desire is the warmth of our life, not a blanket. Our muscles doing this stuff too. If they were tired and cold, but guess what? The why the fuck awake, warm as shit, ready to kick ass, man. We are supplying the demand right now for them to be better. Mentally we're better because we're here and no one else is. That, those combine, man, for that mind-body connection of invincibility. It's within your grasp, man. But you gotta come in here with the right goal in mind, man. Come in here with the right plan of action. If you don't have that plan of action for your day, you will become the plan of someone else's day's actions. I promise you on that. So make sure you have a plan, you have a goal. You know, the real tragic thing in life isn't somebody that doesn't achieve their goal. It's a person that never had a goal to begin with. That's the saddest part. <sighs> That's what it's all about, man. That's what it's all about. It's like that pain starts building and building and building and building. Temporary pain it is. That pain builds and builds and builds. You continue to stay the course, push through it. Once you cross that finish line, and a smaller scheme of life, meaning you finish the reps that set, welcoming the pain, that's the glue of transformation. Boom, feeling the pain, once you finish it, you drop it. That's when pain's temporary pride forever. If you quit before your number count, before your set's really done, and you quit, well that pain lasts forever then. If there's any shortcoming from this point forward, you can go backtrack it and say right here could have been the difference. That could have been it. So now I always wonder what if. No, we don't do that anymore, do we? So we did it all, we did the best we could. We went to maximum effort, man. That's when pain turns to pride going forward. No regrets, man. The way we're gonna do the side laterals, man, is with straight bars. If you guys had this, or if you had weighted bars, or anything that's straight and long, as opposed to a dumbbell. Don't go to the dumbbell, guys. Dumbbells are easy to control. This is very hard to control. What we're gonna try to do is that when we bring this thing up, we wanna keep it kind of straight. We don't wanna wobbly or anything else. So what happens right there? The wobbliness we have to control with our deltoid to keep it straight. So it's all these fine details, guys, that really paint the picture and add up to be the threads of the, uh, uh, of the, of the uh, tapestry of success, guys. It's in the details, guys. Yeah, if you guys have these big dreams in life, that you're gonna master this monumental task and be excellent in that endeavor. It starts here by mastering and being excellent in the small detail endeavors. You can't get that without mastering this first. The small details. Why not dumbbells and why this? Because of the added benefit you get with the same amount of time on the job, okay? So we're gonna do that. Side laterals, right when we finish that, we're gonna grab one of these bars, put it straight out, and then we're gonna climb it up and then bring it back down. I'll show you what that's all about. That's gonna hit more. 
of the front deltoids. Get ready, man. Take a deep breath. Growth is on the way. Side laterals first. Try to keep them as level as possible as you bring them up. Bring them up, bring them right, straight back down. Dude, if you don't feel like a, a rubber band of like fucking warmth and like fatigue in your side and front deltoids right now, huh, pick up the fucking intensity, man. Cause that's how you should feel. If you've done it right, you don't need someone to tell you if you do it right, man. The natural feel you feel the muscles lets you know if you did it right, man. If you're exhausted at the set and you're like, ow, man, I'm winded, I'm fucking spent. But you feel this natural fucking high. A high you can't buy, man. You can't shoot a vein for it, you gotta earn that high. And you're like, check, did that right. What's next? That's how we roll, man. Three sets of that. That's just like, boom. Stamp of approval right there, man. Finish a hard workout. Hit that fucking at the end. Smoke it up. Got that fuzzy mark right there now, my fingerprint. Dude, that's a fucking workout, man. Proud of that shit. Guess what? It's fucking warm outside too. It's warm in here, we're sweating, it's warm out there. Some people just getting up. And again. The trains left the station, man. They missed that opportunity. That's it guys. It's still early in the morning, man. What time is it right now? About 7.45, 8 o'clock, man. The whole day, man. The whole day to do whatever you want, man. Workout's done. You paid your fucking dues. You're that much closer to becoming that person you always knew you could be. I mean, isn't it about time you do that? Isn't it about time you become that person you knew you always could be? How do you do that? You break the fucking mold, guys. You get the fuck out of bed when it's cold, when it's early. You do something away from the normality of what you've been doing. That's, that, that, that's, that's psychotic behavior. Doing the same thing, expecting a different result doesn't work that way. You must switch up the mainframe. Switch it up if you want a different result, man. Why not try it, man? Shock the system. Start with an earthquake, man. What I mean by that is, yeah, get up at four in the fucking morning one day. Just one day. And go for a fucking run. Commit to one day and see how you feel as you're jogging it back in around five or something, as your neighbors are still asleep. Or as you're jogging it back in at six o'clock and your neighbor's just getting up, grabbing the coffee, looking outside, wondering you know, what the day's gonna hold for them. Well, your day's already provided something for you. You see how that works? Mentally, you feel like, wow, man, that was a fucking alive. And then you go about your day at work and your coworkers like, who the fuck, what do you, what happened to what happened to old Greg, man? You, this is a new. Who's this? That's right. The new motherfucker's here to stay and get the fucking on my plan or get the fuck out of my way. That's how you run it, man. But you won't get to know what I'm talking about, man. You can't look at a picture of something of Hawaii and feel the cool breeze and the warm water. You gotta be there, man. You can't talk it all the time. You gotta walk it. Commit to one day. Try it. See how it feels. Getting up that fucking early when everyone else is asleep or in that cold. When everybody else says, no, this is not comfortable. We shouldn't do this. You say, yes, motherfucker, I'm gonna introduce myself to it. And who that person is, we don't know. Who could it be? It's exciting, man. Because the way you feel after that, as exhausted or as how you know, unpleasant as the experience might be, the after effect on how prideful you feel, man. That's something you're either gonna love or not. And if you love it, dude, you're on your journey to something magical, man. And you will become that successful person. Where success doesn't define you, you define the motherfucking success. That's what it's all about, guys. In there, we just did something called a deltoid destruction, man. Deltoid, your shoulders. We got a front, a side, and a rear deltoid. We hit them all. A lot of that supersets, there's eight exercises, all supersetted. Three sets for each exercise, man. So that's 24 fucking sets there. You know, and that one, you know, on the uh, stair climber shoulder, man, that's 55 reps per set. You got three, I mean, that's a motherfucker in there you just said hello to. You just walked into Devil's Den and slayed that motherfucker in the nuts. And, you just, and, and, you made, and then you made the motherfucker say thank you for it. That's right, man. You do that every day, man. This world is fucking easy, man. This is so simple, man. You get out of your own fucking way, man, and you line this shit up. Dude, this shit becomes your dreamland, your playground. It's within your grasp, guys. Very quick, thanks for watching, man.